We have a new letter this week, and it is the letter X. Can you make an X with your arm? One diagonal arm, and then take your other arm, diagonal line. What letter is that? X. And what's X sound? Now, wait a moment, though. X decided to break all the rules. Does he say X in X-ray? Yes. Listen carefully. X is his sound. Do you hear X in X-ray? It actually says the letter. So I hear X in X-ray. Do you hear X in xylophone? I hear Z. But remember I told you the other day, and let's review this, that X makes its X sound at the end of words. When I write a letter down, show me the magic that you know the sound. Ready? What sound? Excellent. What sound? Ah. ah. What sound? X. Now, oh, I know you know it. You, but don't give the surprise yet. Hide it in your brain. Cover it. Watch. Wait for my dots. Wait for my dots. Sound. Ah. Read. Box. Where's the X? At the beginning, middle, or end? And the X is at the end. Now, what about this one? Sound. B. Sound. Ah. Uh, sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, your readers, your readers. But wait, do it together. Ready? B. A. X. Box. Where's the X? At the end. I have one more word to share with you that this time it changes the middle sound. So we had F and B as our beginning sounds, our initial sound. O was our middle, X was at the end, and X got to say his sound. Now, here's another one. And when my friends go to kindergarten, they will turn this age. What sound? S. Oh, it's the letter S, but what's the sound? S. Crisscross. Ready? What sound? I. I. What sound? I. 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 Now do the sounds. Six. Six. How old will you be in kindergarten? Six. The X is at the end. The X says his sound. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. We're going to teach you all about a letter and its sounds. So, let's get started. The letter we'll be focusing on today is the letter A. The letter A is the first letter of the alphabet and has both a short and long sound. It's important to understand these sounds because they appear in so many words. Let's dive right into it. Short sound of A. The short sound of A is like the A sound in the word cat. It's a quick and sharp sound. Let's practice saying it together. Repeat after me, A. Host pronounces the short sound of A. Fantastic! Now, let's think of some words that have the short, a, sound in them. How about, bat, hat, and, mad? Can you think of any more? Let us know in the comments. Long sound of, a. Now, let's move on to the long sound of, a. The long sound of, a, is like the, a, sound in the word, cake. It's a longer and more stretched out sound. Let's practice saying it together. Repeat after me, A. Host pronounces the long sound of A. Great job! Now, let's brainstorm some words that have the long A sound. We have cake, rain, and gate. Can you come up with any others? Share them with us. Common confusion, A versus N. Before we wrap up, let's address a common confusion with the letter A. Sometimes, it can be tricky to decide when to use a versus a n before a word. The general rule is that we use a before words that start with consonant sounds, and we use a n before words that start with vowel sounds. For example, we say a cat because cat starts with the consonant sound k. On the other hand, we say an apple because apple starts with the vowel sound a e. 
It's all about the sound, not the actual letter. Keep this rule in mind, and it will help you use A and AN correctly. Wrap UP. And that's a wrap for today's video, where we explore the letter A and its sounds. Remember, A has both a short and long sound, and it's important to know when to use A and AN correctly. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with your favorite word that has the short or long A sound. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another exciting lesson. Bye!